Hey, well, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Jared Ewing, and this is March Week One's Agent Spotlight. This week, we got my buddy down from Fort Lauderdale, Boca Raton, Miami, wherever south of, of I am that you want to call it, Florida, uh, Chuck Knox. So thanks for joining us today, Chuck. Anytime, man. Thanks for having me. Hey, man. Well, well, just like, and I, and I know you've seen these and uh, people watch these a lot. And one of the things we, we do, is we keep it completely unscripted. We just want to get to know you. Um, you are obviously you've built a nice business. You've made a lot of money with us. And so we like to just get to know you and let everybody else get to know you. So we'll kind of just hit all over the spectrum on, uh, on different topics. So let's, let's kind of start there. So, so tell us a little bit about how you got into the industry and what was your background prior to getting into the insurance industry? I was introduced to this industry by uh, my good buddy, David Schneider, actually a mutual friend of myself and Dave Schneider. Um, Howard Bronstein, I, I owe it a lot to, to that guy. Um, a phone call saying, hey, Chuck, I think, you, uh, I think you'd be good at this insurance thing. I think you need to get your 215. Yeah. And I had no idea what that was. And, and uh, at the time, I, I needed to figure something out. And uh, I got that license as fast as possible. What, uh, so, so like when you were, okay, so, so Howard, so big, big ups to Howard for telling yeah. me about it. Right. Yeah. Um, when you talked to Howard and he was like, you got to get your 215 license. What, what were you doing prior? What, what were you doing before this? So in between a lot of things, I was a personal trainer for years. Uh, I was a personal trainer since like 2008. Yeah. And uh, I was great at it. I was great at personal training. I loved personal training, but y you hit a ceiling with it, you know, yeah. and, and uh, quality of life isn't the greatest. You know, you're, you're at the mercy of other people and, and yeah. their livelihood. And, you know, if they can't afford you, you're not getting paid. So it's a, it's a tough business to be in and, and to, uh, to get where you want to be in life and, and having to rely on other people definitely uh, wasn't something I, I wanted to continue on. So for the longest time, I, I did a, a, a lot of everything to get myself out of that position. I, I worked for a company, I sold airplane parts. Uh, I, I worked with a, a dialysis company. I, I was part owner in a wellness and hormone center in Boca and, and then that shut down in a bad way. And, and that's where I was kind of left off. Yeah. Uh, stuck between a rock and a hard place, not knowing, should I go back to personal training, the thing I know, or, or should I just stick it out and figure it out? And, and that call came at, at the right time. And, and I never looked back. Well, you're, well, I mean, dude, you're a young guy. I mean, what are you 30 ish? Right around 30. 30? You're 30. Yeah, 30. I mean, so, so you, I mean, you know, you going out there, you're kind of trying to conquer the world you know, kind of filling out where the best path is going to be. And then some guy sure. calls you and says, Hey man, check out this insurance gig. Sounds, sounds exciting. Yeah. Doesn't it? That's exactly it. <laughs> it was, um, believe me, I was not, I was not jumping for joy. Uh, when, uh, when he's like, Oh, you should sell us sell insurance. Believe me, I wasn't. No one plays an insurance man when they're growing up. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no one, but, no one. Listen. <laughs> But hey, you know, you do what you got to do. So, so you yeah. did some, you, you were doing health and wellness. You did, uh, personal training, some other stuff, you know, kind of jack of all trades type deal. Um, yeah. you got an insurance it, it, listen, you've done really well in this business. What, what's, um, so you now have been in what, uh, two years. Is it two? Oh, I'm actually going on four years this year. Are you? Oh, four years. Oh my goodness. Man. How, time flies. Time flies. Yeah, right. Man, so That's what I said. Foresters, so they, they, they tell you how, how long you've been in there. Yeah. And I looked the other day, it was uh, three years, 11 months and a couple days. So dude, so, four so, years. so you're telling me I met you when you were 26 years old. You did. Oh, and I had hair then too. You had hair. <laughs> you did. No, yeah, no doubt. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so that's crazy, man. Uh, okay. So now we're fast forward. What's uh? So if someone's watching, I just I like to always probe. What's uh? What's been you know? You've been here now four years. Let's correct that. What's uh? What's been the best income year so far that you've had with us? Uh, how, you know, how's it been looking? You know, um, last year w was decent. Um. Minus my hiatus, I did pretty well. You know, I, I deposit about 150. Year before that, I think it did a little bit better. Yeah, I think it was a closer like 160. But, um, but yeah, between 150, 160. Well, so okay, so you brought it up, so I'm going to talk about it, right? So you talked, you said hiatus. 
Uh, and yeah. it's not a laughing matter, but it's a good matter now because we we can talk about it. But you you actually um, back kind of mid last year got diagnosed with cancer, right? Correct. And so yeah. um, and w w around uh, like September August time frame is that right? I started figuring out there was something wrong with me this time last year. So so going man. into quarantine was really when I started noticing there's something up. Wow. So, so that was a tough, that was a tough pill to swallow, you know? So, but you, so you uh, diagnosed with cancer and it was, it was not like, it, it, was, it was something you had to get taken care of immediately. Like it was not something that it was a pressing matter. No, it, you know, it was, uh, doctor said, if I, I waited any longer, it would have been a lot worse. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Well, yeah. so that's great. But, but it did, I mean, you, you went through what chemo or radiation? Chemo. Chemo for how long? Or how long? Or chemotherapy. How long did you go through that for? So it was a week on. Uh, so every day for five days. So Monday through Friday. Yeah. Uh, it was about seven hours a day. Seven hours. Okay. Seven, seven hours. hours a day. Say that again. Seven hours a day. Seven hours. I was the first one in that treatment room and the last one to leave. And they were changing bags uh, all day. And I would watch. Old, old people, older people walk in and out of this room as I was just sitting there in this recliner for seven hours. Dude, how? And so I mean, it was a week on, yeah. two weeks off, a week on, two weeks off um, for for two and a half, almost three months. Dude, I mean, in, like in you lost, I mean, I remember seeing you, I mean, what, 60, 50, 60 pounds? About 60 pounds. 60 pounds. I mean, you look great now. You look like you gained almost all of it back, so that's great. Um, I'm going, getting, getting back to it. Yeah. Getting back, sure. getting back. But, but I mean, how, like, I mean, listen, third, 29, 30 year old, like going through that, that's, I mean, that is, I, I, get, I guarantee it's never something you ever thought about, huh? Never. Well, no one in my family has ever had cancer, you yeah. know? Um, you know, and I had, I, April is my birthday. So April, I had just turned 30. It was March when I'm like thinking something's up with me. And, um, and yeah, it was, uh, it was mind blowing. And I didn't think it, that's what it was. I, I, my back was hurting and I, I, I thought I tweaked myself in the gym and, and slowly as the days and weeks went on, I realized like there's something really going on with me. I started dropping weight. It was, um, it was a downward spiral really quick. And, uh, uh, I'm glad I have a good buddy in, uh, he, he's a, um, um, He's a chiropractor, but he does all other like, um, um, medicine, um, yeah. what the word is for like it, but holistic style, holistic medicine. Yeah. yeah he yeah. does holistic medicine. Yeah. And, uh, if it wasn't for him, he, uh, he was like, dude, you have to go, you have to go get an MRI. Like there's something going on with you. And, and he, he sent me out there and sure enough, cancer. That's, yeah. that's, inc that's incredible. Incredible, yeah. but you, but you made it out and you made it through and, mm -hmm. uh, which is amazing. It's amazing. And, and, uh, and it's interesting cause obviously your team did very well last year. Um, yes. and it didn't, you know, I mean, you said, you listen, uh, honestly, you said you didn't make as much as you did the year before, but you essentially were out of, out of, you're out of pocket for six months, you know? Yeah. So six months, you still deposited over 150,000 bucks. Um, it, it, you know, what, so you looking back in this industry, 26 years old, you know, obviously you are going out and selling, but, but like, is it, is the benefit behind this industry and being able to go out and build your distribution channel and your team? Have you seen that? Like, have you appreciated that more now coming out of cancer and still having sales and, and income coming in from that because of it? Oh, definitely, man. Um, Whew. going through anything like that, you know, if I was in any other industry, I don't know what I would do. I, I have no idea. Being able to have Equus and uh, the just the power of Equus Financial and, and what our platform is built on and having that, that uh, income from agents that I've brought into the business and helped out and, you know, that was a blessing, you know. Um, I wasn't really able to, to sell much, you know, going through that, you yeah. know, 
week on chemo, obviously I wasn't, wasn't able to do anything that next week I was pretty sick. So like that second week, you know, right before I went in to go do treatment again, I would try to run appointments and, uh, and that was tough, but, and, and, you know, it wasn't very good. I, I did not look, uh, I did, I looked pretty sickly. So it was, it was a tough one to do, but having built a business to where I've, I had that income coming in from my agents was a blessing. I don't know how I would have survived either way. Dude, I, I mean, I, like, uh, listen, I, were, I, you know, and I, and you were telling me, was it, was it when you first got kind of completely done that you were having problems walking and that uh, Jen had to drive you around and you were still yeah. trying to run appointments while you were doing that as well? Yeah. So, um, there was a tumor on my, uh, on my spine and it was hitting nerve pretty bad. And, um, you know, we sit with clients all the time and they tell us about the stuff that they go through and, and it's, yeah. um, anybody who's telling you that they have nerve pain of any kind that they had, a, they're a champion for me able to, to handle that. Cause that is the worst pain I've ever had in my life. Um, I was at one point I was, <laughs> I was using a walker um to to be able to keep myself from falling um like you know being i started out at about 240 and i was slowly dropping weight but still being about 200 pounds and falling it's tough <laughs> you know I, yeah. I was hurting myself so i had to use this walker and and uh the only way the doc would would even consider me working was if she was with me um, I used the walker and it was that second week after kind of recovering from having treatment. Oh, and that man. went on for a while. That's incredible. Unfortunately. Wow. Yeah. Man, that's, that's crazy. I, well, I, it's so, it's so good to see that you are able to get back out of there and fight it through it. Uh, you know, people, people seldomly get a second chance to go out there and conquer stuff. So mm -hmm. it's, it's exciting to see you be able to go do that. Um, it's ex and get back to your normal health and your normal weight yeah. and all that good stuff. That's exciting. It's, I, I love the fact, listen, I got in this business 12 years ago because of what you talked about, about, you know, you went through something and, and you still had an income coming in while you were going through, be it that you could have always used more. It gives you the ability to still can, you know, prevail and keep kicking forward. Uh, so yeah. that's awesome. Um, Kind of final note, uh, you know, it's, you know, obviously, uh, obviously you guys are kicking butt, taking names, starting to work back out of it, you know, getting back into the normal motions and, uh, got you, you guys are starting to bring on more people into the Knox group. Um, and so, um, what, uh, for, so first thing I always like to ask how, if somebody wants to get a hold of Chuck Knox, you know, and, and, and start learning more about this business. How do they do that? What's your, you know, you got Instagram, you got Facebook. How do they get a hold of you? Oh yeah. Um, Instagram, uh, empowered financial group. All right. You can find it there or big Chuck seven, seven, seven. You always All find right. me on there. Uh, email address, Knox protection at Gmail. And if you want my phone number, I'll, I'll definitely give my phone number out too. Well, here. hold on. No, sir. No, hold on. <laughs> this is going on social media. You will have people, <laughs> this will have you have people calling you from all over the country, not knowing who they are. So, Hey, I'll that's not up. a bad, not a bad thing. Right. So nice. Up. Well, dude, Hey, I appreciate you so much being our agent spotlight for, for March week one. So we're excited to have you kick off the month of March for us. Um, we, we're looking forward to seeing big things. Chuck is for, he's, a, he's kind of the leader in our new life lead system. And so he's killing it for us and going to be on calls and, and videos for the next weeks to come kind of trying to help all these agents out. So Chuck, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate it. Uh, appreciate you joining us and being the agent spotlight of the week. Anytime, Jared, I appreciate you, buddy. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you.